Now off to the east, the story continues in the town of Oberlin. This small town is just 45 minutes north of I-70 and is home to the last Indian raid in Kansas. But the story doesn't start here. It starts in Oklahoma in 1878, where Cheyenne Indians were relocated after the battle at Little Bighorn. Not used to the climate and surviving on one day's rations for an entire week, many of these Indians wanted to return home. Led by Chiefs Dull Knife and Little Wolf, 358 Indian men, women, and children escaped their camp to make their way back to their land in the Dakota region. They fought many skirmishes along the way, and on the morning of September 30th, 1878, the warriors were spotted on this hill, just southeast of Oberlin, by two young Irish boys. One was killed by the Indians, while the other one managed to escape to town. The Cheyenne raided many farms that day, killing 16 settlers. The Cheyenne were only interested in supplies and horses. They even attacked farmers who were friendly and gave them food. Only one of the tribe was killed in the attacks. Learn more about this amazing story at the last Indian Raid Museum in Oberlin. They have historical photos of some of the Indians involved, settlers who died in the raids, artifacts, and an amazing arrowhead collection. You can also pick up a map and tour the country roads to see the locations where the attacks took place. Many are on pristine farmland, still being cultivated today. And on one stretch of land, you can visit one of the original grave sites for a victim of the raid, George F. Waters, nestled in the middle of a field. The landowner graciously leaves the grave intact. The other victims were moved to Oberlin Cemetery, where an obsidian obelisk erected by the townspeople honors their memory. So as you continue your journey along I-70, remember, there's much more than you can see from the road. Take your gaze to the north. Just beyond the horizon is a land of amazing beauty, incredible history, and nature unspoiled. Drive off the beaten path and explore Northwest Kansas, where there's a story around every curve. To discover more about Northwest Kansas, visit their website. At northwestkansas.org, you can learn more about their intriguing history. Take a virtual tour of the breaks with Tobe. Get itineraries, find great places to eat or shop, or share your own stories.